This short video tutorial is one of a series that focuses on keyboard shortcuts on the Mac. So please check out the other videos that are part of the series and let's jump right in now and get started. The shortcuts that I'm going to share in this video are ones that I think are imperative for all Mac beginners to be aware of. Now some of you that have been using the Mac for a while may not be aware of all of these shortcuts, but especially if you're new to Mac, if you're used to using Windows especially, or if you're just new to using computers at all and you have a Mac, these will be particularly useful to you. If you're like me, you'll end up opening multiple Windows, multiple software programs on the screen and pretty soon you'll have quite a mess. You can see I've got several things open and it's just too cluttered for me. So what are some things that you can do to solve that problem? Well on a Mac you can hold the command key that's just to the left of the spacebar and then tap the tab button. And look what happens when you do that. Now I'm still holding command but I tapped tab and look what it does. It gives me a series of icons and each of these icons represents a different program that I have open at this time. Now if I tap tab again, look what happens. It tabs over and selects a different app each time I tap tab. Now my thumb is still on the command key, but using this method and using this keyboard shortcut, I can easily switch from let's say the App Store to Chrome to the Finder to Word or whatever I have that is open and active. So that's a very useful keyboard shortcut. It helps you switch back and forth quickly from one app to the next. Great. Now let's say it's the end of the day and you would like to shut off your computer, let it rest overnight. You can use the same keyboard shortcut, Command Tab, to quickly shut down all of these different software applications. What you would do is tap Tab until it gets to one that you want to shut down and then tap Q to quit. Now my thumb is still on command so I'm holding command and then I'm tapping Q and one by one each of these will get shut down. Q. Okay. And very quickly you can shut down all of the apps, all of the software programs that are open on your computer. Okay. So that's a combination of command tab and command Q. You do command tab to get this list here of open apps or programs and then keep your thumb on command and just tap Q to quit each of those one by one. Okay, so very, very quickly you can clear out and shut down all of your programs and you'll be able to then shut down your computer. Now another keyboard shortcut that you really need to be aware of is one that's particularly useful when you're browsing the internet, surfing the internet, and let's say you go to a website and while you're on that website, maybe you would like to also go to another website. Now many of you know that you can create a second tab, right? I can click this plus sign to give me a second tab, but there's actually a keyboard shortcut that's much better. Just hold command and tap T and you get another tab that you can use to browse. So I can use this to go to Google, let's say, and then I could hold command and tap T to get a third tab. So this is really nice. Now I'm showing this in Safari, but it works just as well in Chrome. Okay, here I am in Chrome, command tab, and I can get multiple tabs. It also works in the Finder. So here in the Finder, if I tap Command Tab, look, I get another tab and another tab. And this is very useful, especially if you want to move things or copy paste them from one area of the Finder to another. Having multiple tabs can be very useful. Now that's not all. This Command T for new tab is also usable in many other apps and services and tools. So try it out and see if it works in the applications that you use. Now the last Mac keyboard shortcut that I'm going to show in this tutorial is one that I hope you never have to use, but trust me you will. And that is, let's say something goes wrong with your Mac. It's frozen or a particular application is frozen. You know when I first started using Mac people told me that I would love it because it would just never crash the way Windows computers crash. Well, I do love my Mac, but I also love Windows, and honestly, I haven't noticed a huge decrease in the number of crashes. Maybe I'm just hard on computers. But anyway, it will crash or freeze from time to time, and one thing you can try to help you out in that situation is hold Command, the Command key on the keyboard, then hold Option, just next to the Command button, and then tap Escape and this gives you the force quit menu. As it says here, if an app doesn't respond for a while, select its name and force quit. So click Keynote for example, force quit. It says are you sure you're going to lose any unsaved changes? That's fine. Force quit. Same with Preview. I can force quit that. 
Now, this, like I say, is mostly for when things stop working. Right now, these things are all working. And so it's much better for me to use Command Tab, like I showed earlier, and then use Command Q to quit out of them. That's the better way. But if something is malfunctioning, this force quit is probably the best option you're gonna have to close down some of these applications that might be causing your computer to freeze. Great, so hopefully those keyboard shortcuts help you out. And please consider watching my other video tutorials, especially the ones that focus on Mac keyboard shortcuts. And please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students. And watch for a new video at least every Monday.